strong bit. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Hookah Troopers. And Vader Vaber. And we're back to do four more reviews for you guys from Steam and Demon. Well, Connor, what are the flavors? Four <laughs> reviews, but one review. Well, four flavors, one review video, because I don't want to span that out. And there you go. <laughs> That's just a pain in the ass. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Our flavors today that we're going to be doing in order is Vanilla Custard. Second one? Pineapple upside down cake. We got this one when the flavors were still unreleased. I'm pretty sure it's out by now. Yeah, I'd assume he's released it by now. Third one we're going to be doing is black and blue ice cream, and last but not least, my Moodle personal candy. favorite. Like what he says, like Moodle candy. It's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Oh uh, shit. So what are we sitting at? I'm sitting at 0.26 ohms, 75 watt, 83 cube here on my snow wolf, of course. Nothing but the best. Same. IPv3. Nothing but the best. Oh, You're yeah. fire. <laughs> uh, actually, Addy3, he picked up two. I, I bought one off of him. Uh, 75 watts. Um, 0.2 um, twisted 26 gauge. Oh, uh, yeah. Here. Get out of the real quick. It's the exact same. It's twisted 26 <laughs> gauge pen ball. Good shit. Hmm? It's good shit. Yeah. And just for the people I've never seen the Addy 3 Cube, I got the Don't Drip and Drive band on there, but it's what it looks like. Chuff tip. Inside's like a four hole, three post type deal. Four post. Four. It's three post, technically four holes. If you want to be technical about it. Alright, back to our review. <laughs> um, first thing I noticed about this one is like, it smells like, when you heat it up, it smells like uh, sugar cookies fresh out of the, the uh, oven. I agree. But the taste is completely different, in my opinion. Um, yeah, you definitely get every, every custard flavor that he has. Like I said before in our last video, anything baked good wise that he has, or I mean, desserts, perfect, spot on flavor, nice dense clouds, a lot of vapor with it. I love them there. It's, this is my second favorite out of the four that he gave. Us. <laughs> Just one thing. If you go here or you order from remember, like we said in the last video, pure Nick, a lot stronger than you think. It is a lot stronger. He may or may not have, not blaming him, accidentally spiked this on the nicotine. I about died when I first hit it. He had to dumb it down for my ass. <laughs> um, it's a bit strong for my taste, I'd assume. He's smoking around, the strong one. I had to dumb down one uh, thing. I'd had. assume it's around four milligrams of Nick. We did ask for two, but he ended up accidentally making it a little stronger, but not too bad. And what are your thoughts on the flavor? Uh, rating wise, I feel about. Honestly, it's 7 out of 10. I'm not a huge custard guy. Uh, like I said, it does smell like uh, sugar cookies fresh out of the oven, but it kind of tastes like sort of a plain cupcake to me. Alright. Like, I'm not, I, I not against them, but that is my personal opinion. That's what our reviews are all about, is personal opinion. I can feel it. Understandable. And, like, I'm, I know you have a completely different opinion on that, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you, uh, he knows, and everybody viewing should know, that... My my favorite flavors are baked goods and custards. So, and apples. That's really fruity like apple. and candy. So, let's uh let's move on to uh the pineapple upside down cake. You want to show the bottle? So you know this. It's so you can see a little bit better. Uh, I got a different bottle. It's got like a yellowish color to it. And I've had straight pineapple before, and I'm not a huge fan of pineapple whatsoever. But this baked good, I can actually go for nonstop. I'm thinking about picking up a pretty that's decent good. bottle of it. Is good. This is a fantastic flavor. If you ever had the chance to try it, I'd recommend this one. But getting into our, getting into our review, same thing, high VG, thick, dense clouds. I'm pretty sure that's what you're just doing that flavor, right? Yeah, this is, it's, it's all the same. Uh, Anything he ha has, like he said in his interview with us, that everything mm. high VG that he makes is 80% or more VG, depending on the flavor basis, because all flavor bases are PG, as you guys would know. What I like the most about this flavor is definitely 
just the fact that it isn't like any other pineapples out there. Most pineapples no. aren't good. Oh, God, They no. have, uh, in my opinion, most other pineapple flavors are artificial. Like, they have a fake taste to them. They yeah, have, it's just like... It tastes like... It's a candied flavor, like the original pineapple. Like any pineapple I've ever had is more candied than anything. And I'm not saying candied in a good way, because I love candy flavors. It just tastes like sort of a waxy sort of pineapple candy. It's drafting here. It's kind of disgusting, to be honest. But this, this straight up tastes like the dude made a freaking pineapple upside down cake and just poured the damn juice out of the pan. Straight into a bottle. Like, it is fantastic. And then you vape it. I agree. I love this flavor. Um, this would be probably my third on the list of this. And I, if I had to give it a, a rate, 1 to 10, i put it right around an 8. That's, that's about I'd right. say that's about... That. Eight or nine, uh, it could use a little bit more of like a pineapple, like a little bit more on the pineapple side because it does have like it's kind of dumbed down with like cake sort of taste. But I mean, it is a good balance, but a little bit more pineapple would probably do it a little justice. Um, I think it's spot on where it, right where it should be, but like, like we said before, it's all just personal opinions, and that's why we do videos together because we're always contradicting each other. <laughs> Our third flavor here that we're going to be trying and reviewing is the black and blue ice cream. Once again, high VG and two minutes. Just to throw it out there, all these are high VG. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll ever be doing some 50-50s unless these straight up asked us to. And he does have Bo. 65? 68? 68. 50-50 black. 66 because there's 22 in the high VGs that he yep. had on the menu. So about 66 50-50 uh, blends. This is the pine, or the excuse me, the uh, black and blue ice cream, blackberry and blueberry. I'm assuming. Yes. Um, one thing I did notice with about cream. It, yeah, one thing I did notice about it straight off is that you get more blackberry than you do blueberry, and he's got a new flavor that was unreleased, but he did release it. Blueberry pie. I actually threw a little in this, and it actually uh, made the uh, blueberry stand out a lot more. I saw that. I'm a unicorn. A vaping unicorn. And like. Oh, basically. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God. Um, without that blueberry, extra blueberry there, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of blueberry, but mixed together, it was pretty decent. Until I mixed that blueberry in there, more spot on black and blue. And I don't think you've ever tried it with the blueberry in there. You want to give it a shot quick so you know what it tastes like with the extra blueberry. You put extra? I put the extra blueberry pie in there. So it like, gave that blueberry more of a punch. It balances out a lot more, like for me, because I don't like I said I don't like blackberry, and it makes that blueberry a bit better for me. I don't care for that as much as I do the original, but like before, everybody has different flavor palettes. Um, like, like I said, I'm not a fan of blackberry; I'm more a fan of blueberry. This blueberry yeah. pie is fantastic, but we'll review that at another time. This black and blue ice cream here is one of his best sellers at the shop, along with the the demon's blood that we did last time. And that shit sells out quick. He is always on top of everything. I mean, he starts making juices a thousand milliliters beforehand, just so that when he does sell out, when he's everything's done steeping, by the time it's ready to go out, and by the time he sells what he already has made, which is a good thing about his shop. Some shops, obviously, if they're making house blends, most of their stuff is steep. But I have been to shops that don't have it, or if you do go in and he doesn't have it, it will be done within the next couple of days, and you can go and pick yourself. Pick up some for yourself. And if you talk to him, he will hold a bottle for you. All right. This is Voodoo Candy. <clears throat> and I don't want to see him an email, obviously. Yeah. Fourth and final flavor for today. I might have to fucking refill it out. Oh, no, I'm good. Um, this flavor, in my opinion, is like a very tart, sort of sweet tart sort of flavor. I, I can agree with that. It's uh, It's got a punch, like higher PEG, but it's not. Like, it's got the throat hit that I enjoy out of juices. And most of his stuff do, but they could use just a little bit more. But at the same time, the only way I could do that with the high BGs is add more Nick. And then even with a little bit more Nick, it gets me. So I can live with this, and just like I live with all of his juices, they're great. Just the best way I can think of to describe this one is like if you've ever had a tart uh, lemonade and then has the, uh, when you have that, you get that tartness and then you get like the 
punch of uh, Smarties behind it. Yeah, and then it's got like a Smarties, um, chalky in a good way, flavor to it. It's not like eating the candies at all. No. It is, it's kind of like a liquid form of the candies, in my opinion. Yeah, if you were to drink sweet tarts and lemonade. Don't do it at home. No, please don't. Please do not try, try that at home. Uh, I'm not saying we're trying to do this. If you were, <laughs> if you were drinking so sweet tart lemonade, <laughs> sweet tart flavored lemonade, Billy, that's all idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's an idea for all of our viewers. You guys can have it. We won't. We'll only we're not copyright. Small fee. <laughs> small we'll fee. Copyright it, small but fee. Five bucks per pitcher. <laughs> no, uh, if you want to try that, that we're no way liable for your ass. <laughs> You choke yourself out and have to go to the hospital. That's your own fucking fault. <laughs> um, um, just like to say, uh, as we do at the end of all of our videos, I'd like to say thank you for watching. It helps us to uh, hit that like button because that helps us get more followers and it shows us that you guys enjoy our videos. I also like to have all of you go and subscribe at Hookah Troopers on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, more on Facebook. More on Facebook. Okay, and uh, yeah. Instagram. But be sure to check out my website, hookatroopers.wix.com slash HT402 for all my hookah re uh, related reviews. Be sure to, uh, we actually still have to post those on the, your site. Uh, be sure to check out his site, vaderraper.com or dot wix.com slash VV402. We'll be posting these videos and poss quite possibly uh, events and shit like that yeah. in the near future. We have we have events coming up with the owner of Steam and Ooh, just yeah, the heads up. Uh, just be, heads up, we are in the works of a cloud competition at the, at the uh, Steam and Demon show off. Uh, we're not sure on details yet. We're still working the kinks out, trying to get sponsors and everything. So, I mean, if you're not in the area and you want to sponsor, that'd be fucking amazing. And just hit us up on our YouTube channel or just direct message us on Instagram. It's probably the best way to get a hold of us. Yeah. All, uh, all proceeds to this will be going. We will have prizes. So, those of you who are skeptical who own, may own your own juice company, may own, you know, make mechanical mods, make box mods, something that you want to contribute. Those of you who may be skeptical, they are not going to us. We will not use them unless no. you would like us to review something for us, for you, then you can see. Yeah, we'd be more than happy to do that. But again, these are going to be as prizes. They're prizes for the um, winners. And if you are in the area and you come to this event, we are going to be doing, if he uh, does food drives. So if you bring a non perishable canned item, food item, Oh, and then we can like, bring him as much as you can. He shaves a dollar off his juice prices. We'll shave a dollar off entry fees, which is not going to be much in the first place. No. Uh, I think it's like five bucks. Yeah, five dollars. So, like, if you bring a can entry. into us, it's four dollar entry. And you bring another can, you get a dollar off his juice, and it helps. It would put, it goes all to the food drive. It doesn't go to anybody involved. Uh, the the uh, entry fee will go to more pro more prizes. We're buying stuff through through Steam and Demon to uh, provide for that. So we will. It'll definitely help us out with uh, getting you guys our pr the prizes for first and second place, getting the juices for first and second place, and etc. But uh, yeah, I think that covered basically everything we wanted to cover today. Correct? Pretty sure. Uh, be sure to if you have not checked it out. Be sure to click my left, or excuse me, my right nipple here to check out our interviews, Nate Burr from Steam and Demon, and be sure to click this nipple to check out our first review. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on that note, uh, just remember to hit that like button for his little stunt there. Uh, have a good rest of the day. Vape Why on. spite that shit for me, please? Keep calm. Vape on.